and now St. Monica Senior High School. Each for all. As I have already said, I'm delighted to be here today. Being here has brought back fond memories of the experiences we had while learning assiduously to move on to greater heights. My duty today is to informally speak to you, our young ladies, and encourage you all to aim high and be the best you can be by tapping into the diverse opportunities that come your way today, including a well-endowed school to enrich your lifetime endeavors. like to thank the Lord God Almighty for the strength to show up here every single day since the very beginning of this series that I love so much and this series has become a part of me <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for for encouraging me in many ways some of you are praying for me a lot of you have you know comforted me you have sent me prayers you have been there for me ever since I talked about my story in you know with my Nigeria family I appreciate you all for being there for me so today I'm taking you guys to Mampong in the Ashanti region of Ghana finally I found the Nigerian kids that are going to save the future of nigeria and i cannot wait for you guys to see them as they are right here in this school that we are visiting today we are going to saint monica senior high school all girls school this school is one of the oldest in west africa way before ghana became a sovereign state this school has been in it and i cannot wait to show you guys the nigerian kids these are the only kids that are allowed to be friends with my kids in future because these ones are well educated <laughs> all right so without talking too much let's go to Mampong and I will be back. St. Monica's Senior High School is a girls' second cycle institution in Mampong in the Ashanti region of Ghana. The school was established in the year 1946 in Asante, Mampong and wait, if you're looking for a girls' school to attend, please kindly consider St. Monica as your first choice school is. <laughs>
Calm down. What, what you just said, what does it mean? I don't understand. What does it mean? It's a Greek, okay. it's a Greek word which means strong tower. Yeah. And those who have the Lord yeah. as their strong tower, they are able to get protection. They get wisdom. Yeah. And what does wisdom do? It gives us victory. Yeah. So we are taking the trophy this year. Yeah. So go to the boys' school. That's the money case is coming this year. We are coming live and colored. The girls are babies. We are considering them as babies. And the boys, we consider them as six-year-old children. Yeah. So for them, yeah. Okay, you just you just surprised me. And interestingly, you are on Prepper College's um, campus. You are calling them six year old. Yeah. What should they expect you? What is going to make you different from them? When it's the time for finals and we come, God is actually going to show His power. What did He say? Fear not. There are 365 fear not in the Bible. And so we can't even fear Prepper College. Now let's talk of the other schools. And you're only one, two schools in this country. It's a money case. And you're right. We don't care about that. So you see the Nigerian kids, you see the Nigerian kids, these are the ones that are allowed to be friends with my kids. Yeah, if your kids are schooling in Ghana, they are welcome to be friends with my kids in future. Otherwise, I am not going to take any risk. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, but you see one thing about Igbo people, they get sense, die. Igbo people get sense. Only say me and them, we know they agree, you know now. Sense plus sense, they always they they had. I'm glad that they choose to enroll their kids in the school, public school, because I know it's in the day. Now let's go meet the old ladies. When I say old ladies, Saint Monica old girls are actually really indeed old. They are not your mates. <laughs> they are our grandmom. But there's something unique about them. St. Monica is that one school that I have seen where her uh, aluminites are, are in all shades. They have the young. They have the not so young. They have the old. They have the very old. Let's go back to the school and take a look at the old ladies of St. Monica Senior High as they come back to give back to their alma mater. Let's go and I will be back. My, my duty today 
is to informally speak to you, our young ladies, and encourage you all to aim high and be the best you can be by tapping into the diverse opportunities that come your way today, including a well-endowed school to enrich your lifetime endeavors. We also support our school. We are all girls. We have the uh, the two two say. Yeah. They are the, the celebrating the double, yes, the double juice. Eh? So wherever you are, join us. If your sister, your girlfriend, your auntie, your grandmother, your wife, your 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 attendance and what can please come and support please, us. Uh, and remember that today we'll be streaming live on our Facebook and our YouTube pages. So you need to share and get the message across. We love you each for all. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome to the land of the Mother of Saints, St. Saint Monica's Girls Senior High School. We are gathered here today, of course, to celebrate the 76th speech and prize giving day of our great school, St. Monica's Girls Senior High School at Asante Mampo. My name is Patricia Mabonsu. I will be your MC for today. And of course, I have my co MC here, who is. Eric Kwesi Opon Enchi. The University of Ghana Medical Center, UGMC. Yeah, that's the bread or say bonsu at home for him. Nana Akwaba, yeah, that's the PES. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. At this particular juncture, we would have a national anthem. And of course, the Cadet Band is going to help us with that. So if you are here, Cadet Bank, help us. Let us do our national anthem. Thank you very, very much. Of course, we'll be opening um, the program very soon. And with that, we we'll invite the presence of God to be with us. And there's no other person who can do it better for us than very Reverend J.K. Amo. He is the Dean of the St. Michael and All Angels Cathedral. If Reverend is here, Reverend, please do us the honors and open this ceremony for us with a word of prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's clap for Reverend. Permission has been sought and granted for you all to use the premise which are environmentally friendly. This premise of St. Monica's Senior High School is an environment that when you walk around, you have your comfort. Since the school was established in 1946, it has always thought to be a trailblazer as the first all-girls secondary school in the Ashanti and Northern sector of our country. It was the first to begin creating opportunities for excellence and success for the girl child. The 16 young girls who were the first to be admitted to pursue the, their O-level education have since been followed by such illustrious members of our community. It's a very tall list, I'll just mention a few of them. Honorable Akusia Femor Pari, the first female chief of staff of Ghana. We also have Professor Rita Akosu-Jackson, the first female vice chancellor of KNUSD. Professor Ya Intiama Beidu, a climate change, biodiversity, and ecosystem services environmental specialist. She was also the founding pro vice chancellor for Sorry, she was also the first, the founding pro vice chancellor of the University of Ghana's Office of Research, Innovation and Development. We have my lady Justice Melly Wood, a justice of the Court of Appeal. COP retired Rose Bill Atinga, also the first female commissioner of police, the first Ghanaian female commissioner of police in Ghana. DCOP for Stina Kodia and Okofi the Director General of the Criminal Investigations Department, Captain Catherine Hazel of the Maritime University. We have Professor Matilda Stenner, CEDU also of the University of Ghana, and the late Professor Marianne Irama Adi of the Brilliant Science and Maths Quiz fame. 
We are not done. We have Mrs. Paulina Ejema for proprietress of Queensland International School. Mrs. Georgina Yebo, Executive Director of African Forum for Research and Education in Health. We have some members of Parliament also amongst us. We have Honorable Mrs. Elizabeth Ofusuasari and Honorable Adelaide in team. We have great women amongst us. And our own Smosa President, Mrs. Edith Separa Grant. Officially, we'd like to welcome everybody here, but to help us in doing that is the board chairman for St. Monica Senior High School. The Director General of Ghana Education Service, the Regional Director of Education, the Municipal Director of Education, Mampo, the clergy, heads of public institutions, and head of the security service. I say use this tool wisely because as with everything, technology can have its downside. Teenagers can get addicted to games, uh, what do you call it, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram. Some of us, we don't go there, we just stick to WhatsApp. There are many unfortunate stories of girls who have had, who are, who are being trafficked because they have uh, stuck a friendship with strange people online and physically gone to meet them. With everything in life, there must be a balance. And I expect you to take advantage of technology, not just for your personal development, but for that of society. You have to be serious with your books. That is what I can say for now. Because during our time, there was no water. We used to go to this stream called Ebrukutum. It wasn't that so, so. <laughs> it was serious. So we, the seniors, when I was in Form 5, what we were doing was like, when the Form 1s and the Form 2s, they brought their waters, we will go and take it and use it to bath. Because we couldn't go to the stream. And that time, you know, we were a bit that about. So, you know, going to the stream was tough for us. But we managed. The then Anglican Bishop of Accra and the entire Gold Coast, he was reported to be constantly in touch with every sisterhood of Anglican Communion in England to help in the missionary activities in the then Gold Coast. It was then that God touched the hearts and the minds of the sisters of the order of the Holy Paracrit with me, England, to come to the mosquito invested Gold Coast, West Africa. Nana Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed heartwarming to learn of the commitment and desire of all the successive Anglican bishops and sisterhood to continue the good works of Bishop Angloby and sisters of the order of the holy public it is therefore not surprising that the houses in the school are named after these past anglican bishops anglody rosevier delhi martinson lome and the former archbishop of the internal province of ghana daniel yinka safo yinka safo house and now we have bishop yeboa house a theme for this year's anniversary is creating opportunities for excellence and success in our school. This theme is in need, timely especially, at this time that we are all talking about human empowerment and education of the girl child. Nothing in need should be barrier against the girl child to be acquisition for academic success. My dear students, Several opportunities are made available for you to climb higher the academic ladder. ladder sorry. The government has done its part by providing free senior high school education. So there shouldn't be no excuse for any girl or student to be left behind. All stakeholders, parents, teachers and others are all getting on board ensuring that you stay in school. Please take advantage of this opportunity. It should not rest on only the administration or the teachers, but also parents and other stakeholders who have the training and the grooming of our students at heart. To design effective developmental projects for the school. Until projects which we pursue today are designed such that some 10 to 20 years time they would still remain relevant in the scheme of things. You cannot expect to boast of world acclaimed surgeons when our school science labs are nothing to write home about. 
and neither can we question our average performance in comparison to others when our school lacks an ultra-modern ICT laboratory to library to complement the efforts of both teachers and students. Now I come to the most important group, that is to the students. I challenge you with what I term the four P's, planning, preparation, prudence, and perseverance. The world today is full of opportunities which can either make you the best version of yourself or derail your attempts to achieve that ultimate goal of excellence. A lot of the items that were donated to the school, but I couldn't bring here because of copyrighted uh, music and also audio issue with their video. But one of the things I believe you could see clearly in the video of the old girls is that they donated a whole library, furnished, tastefully furnished, equipped library for the school. They said because <laughs> they like to brag, they like to say for sure, St. Monica Senior High is that one school that can produce the best medical students or the best science students in Ghana. All right. So they did this school. It's um, like a mother of them all. So they have a lot of things they have donated to the school. And I love it that way. Now you see that let's go back to the school so that we can get to meet these Nigerian kids that are allowed to be friends with my kids in future. These kids are the ones they are going to join force with me and my kids together we are going to go home and save our country let's go meet them them and then do random tour as we have always done and i will be back let's go <laughs> to Kumasi Online TV. My name is Marilyn Mentingalko and I am the second assistant head girl for St. Monica Senior High School. Well, I have here with me these beautiful ladies and they claim to be from Nigeria. Is it true? Yes, please. Well, I can also see that from your dressing as well. So, can you tell me something about your culture? <laughs> oh, well, I'm dressed like an Igbo from Enugu State. So. Okay. And I'm from Imo State. Sure, sure, sure. So what's the inspiration behind all these? The beads, the hats, everything. What's, what's the inspiration about all these? So we are having our SRC week and then it's a cultural day in St. Monica. So I decided to rep Niger. After all, I am Niger. And also you asked the beads. Well, the beads we believe from Igbo land are a gift from the gods. Yes, yeah, so they are gift from the gods. So that's why we like putting on beads and then our cloth and then, you know, everything. Okay, so what is this thing? Well, it's called Nza. Nza. Hostel. Hostel. Oh, okay.
I said, you see, the fact that me and my Igbo brothers do not agree, hmm? I love them a lot, you know, because they are suffering the same thing I'm suffering. They are just the ones that I feel like should take Nigeria matter personal. Let it pain them the most. But I kind of understand their pain, but sometimes some of them, some people from the eastern region in Nigeria kind of make me angry. When you know the real struggle, you know our country more than any other person because you have seen it all. You still come out here and sit down and insult, insult another African country. You put them down. You say they are not up to you. It hurts me. That's the only issue I have with my people. Otherwise, me and the Igbos, how do I even separate ourselves? It's not, it's not possible. I cannot separate. You go to my part of Nigeria where I come from. The first people that my people will choose, skip Igbo, keep other tribes, my people are definitely going to align themselves with Igbos. Because like, we are like, we are family, we are one. We do a lot of things in common, just that they have a lot of money. Uh, maybe due to that, they kind of like, some of them are kind of proud and all that. My people are humble and that's the only difference. Otherwise, we are the same. So i like the fact that they are smart to send their kids to this school thank you for having nigerian kids now let me say something all the schools have been to their nigerian kids in them just that we have not seen them like we we did in this school and it's not a big deal in ghana okay i don't want more nigerians to come in with their kids they, we should find a way to fix our own home these ones are here because some of them were born in ghana and they are ghanaians yeah they are nigerian ghanaian <laughs> do you understand so i like to see this all right <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and guess the next school guess the next school ghana you guys you guys guess the next school all right thank you for watching this one and i'll see you in another one ciao